Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got a video I have been looking forward to filming for you guys. This is the first sniffs of the holiday bricks. So we have five holiday bricks as usual. This year they are shaped like Christmas trees and these are first sniffs. I have not smelled these yet. I did let my husband smell them last night, but I have not smelled them myself. And I have a few other things here as well in a little bit of a haul that I did. First up though, I just wanted to go through a little bit of Scentsy news because it's been a while since I filmed. So there's a couple items coming up I just wanted to let you guys know about. So this coming Monday, October 9th, we have Holly the Hippopotamus coming as a buddy. Um, we just found out about her a couple days ago here and this is what she looks like. Super cute. Little grey hippo with a little red and white scarf. So she'll be available on Monday the 9th, um, Canadian Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends. Um, I am in the process of baking today and making pie and all that good stuff. Um, and then the other thing we have coming up that is actually very exciting and none of us saw this coming. We did not expect this. Sensi just kind of pulled this out from their sleeves. There is a warmer, a limited edition warmer and brick coming on Friday the 13th, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, which we did not get back this year. The brick is Jack's Obsession, which is a lovely green apple cinnamon scent that I love and I wish I had it in my club, so I'm going to be putting it in my club when it comes back. So 10 a.m. Pacific Time, Friday the 13th, we have the 30th anniversary Tim Burton Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas Scentsy Warmer and Brick in Jack's Obsession. That is a bundle, so you get the, the brick and the warmer together. You cannot purchase them separately, they come as a pair. If you want Jack's Obsession because you miss it, you will have a chance to put it in your Scentsy Club at that time. So there is that. And I'm just going to show you a picture as well of the, the warmer and the brick. Super cute. And I think this warmer would pair really well with the Pumpkin King warmer from a few years back. I think that would be a good pairing. So there is that. A little bit of news for you. So first I'll just go through kind of quickly the haul items I got. So I had placed a fairly large group order and gotten the holiday bricks as well as a, as a few other things. So the other things that I got were scent circles because I didn't have any like fall scent circles. So I got some kind of like leading into winter ones. So I've got white amber and silk, frosted cedar, which is one of my favorites of the new 10 bars, frosty air, a nice clean scent, Dashing, another really good new release. Cranberry and cardamom, another really good kind of wintry type scent. And pink leather, which was a scent of the month in, I want to say August. Maybe, so no, sometime in the summer, July or August. Very, very pretty, kind of like a strawberry suede type smell. Very nice. And then I had grabbed three bars of just one bite. This is the Evil Queen bar. This is currently available along with Dark and Devious and Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls. I know I'm a big fan of just one bite and I wanted to stock up. So I got three bars of this one. This one is like red apple, cinnamon and molasses. And this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. Yeah, if you like apple spice scents, this is that. But it does have a bit of a depth to it from that molasses note. So I think you do have to like a bit of that deep molasses tone, but it is gorgeous. Like this is a beautiful apple cinnamon scent. And while it's not a club bar for me, Jack's Obsession is. And I guess it might be helpful to point out the difference between this bar and Jack's Obsession because they are both apple cinnamon scents. This one has the molasses note, which does make it darker and just a bit deeper and heavier. Jack's Obsession is a bit lighter um, and definitely more of a tart green apple cinnamon, where this is more of a balanced apple, I would say. It does have a bit of a tart to it, tartness to it, but it is more of a like balanced apple with molasses and cinnamon. Whereas Jack's Obsession is a bright green apple, a bit of a sour apple with a bit of a cinnamon note and I think is overall a bit lighter, but I actually prefer Jack's Obsession just a little bit. But this is gorgeous. I needed more. So I grabbed three and I am stocked up now. The other things I grabbed were the Washer Whip bundles. So I grabbed two of the three scents. I grabbed Ocean and Shimmer and in those bundles you get two of the size of each scent. So I got two Oceans and two shimmers. So Ocean is kind of a nice aquatic scent and we have very aquatic packaging there. This is just fresh and clean and kind of minerally. It's like a mineral aquatic and that's the type of aquatic I like. Um, sometimes aquatic notes can lean kind of soapy and I don't prefer that. This one is a very minerally 
almost like Calgon take me away in the 90s type scent. I, I really like this. I will probably not use this until we get closer to the summer months. I almost detect a bit of a citrus note in here as well, just a little tiny bit, but it kind of reads a little bit citrus and a little bit minerally. It's very, very nice. The other one we have here is Shimmer, and this is a nice kind of girly, like perfumey scent, a little bit musky. Yeah, it's sweet and fruity. And I will say the washer whiffs in the Shimmer scent are fruitier than the wax. The wax is a bit more perfumey, whereas I'm finding the washer whiffs much more fruity and sweet. And sometimes that will happen where you'll have a scent that just changes a little tiny bit depending on what format it's in. So this doesn't smell super similar to the wax to my nose, but I actually do really like this as well. So this one is not super true to the wax to my nose because it lacks the muskiness and the perfuminess of the wax, but this is also very pretty. So excited for this one. This will be probably for like my daughters in my laundry or maybe bedding. So there's that. And finally, I had forgotten to order when it first came out the Fluffy Fleece Scentsy Fresh. So I grabbed a bottle of this, thank goodness. And it's got the little kitty cats and the sweaters. Um, I love this scent. This is like my favorite fall winter laundry scent. So grab this and what I do with this, the Scentsy Fresh is a laundry add-on product. So it doesn't clean your laundry, it just kind of is a fabric refresher. So this stuff is really nice for things that you can't wash often or just freshening up things. So things like mattresses that you actually can't really put in the washing machine. You wash your bedding, spray your mattress down with this just to freshen it up or walk-in closet. Sometimes I'll go into my walk-in closet and just spray this all over the kind of the clothes that are just in there to freshen things up. Um, the couch, the chairs, any kind of textile materials, um, things like that, that you can vacuum and stuff, but you can't actually launder. Um, this works really well for that kind of things. Um, carpeting, if you want to freshen that up in between shampooings and that kind of thing, this works well for that as well. So Scentsy Fresh is just kind of a nice thing to have on hand to refresh things like curtains and that sort of thing that you don't wash as often or that you can't wash. So yes, Scentsy Fresh. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the five holiday bricks. I did get these in early access. They launch October 16th, which I believe is a Monday. Yes, so Monday, October 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the bricks are available. Now there's a couple ways to get these. There are five cents in total and you do have bundle options. So you can do a two brick bundle, which is $40 US or $53 Canadian, and you can pick whichever two cents you want, or you can get the five brick bundle with one of each of the five. So with the five brick bundle, you're getting one of each of the five cents. You can't mix and match that to be multiples of one cent and none of the other. So if you want multiples of one, like two bricks, you would just get the two bundle and then just get two of whatever you want. If you want to try each of them, um, you do all five and it's $90 US or 119 Canadian. And in the past, we have been able to um, use party host rewards on those bricks. So if you have an open party link, you should be able to get some bricks with those rewards. So let's go through here. Okay. If you want to purchase individual bricks without the bundle option, they are $24 US or $32 Canadian each. Now this year, there was a little bit of confusion around the size of the bricks. When they had launched these at SFR back in July, was it? Yeah, July. When they announced these at SFR, they had like prototype packaging, I think, because the weight on here at the time, and I think they've actually stickered over it. Yes, these are stickered over. So they had originally had the 15 ounce size. So that is the typical size of a Scentsy brick. So the catalog bricks and all of our former ones have been the 15 ounce. Um, these ones are a little bit smaller and we thought they looked smaller, but the weight seemed the same. So we weren't sure what kind of like weirdness was going on there, but they are indeed a little bit smaller. Um, so they have stickered over the, the weight with more accurate weight information. So they are now 13 and a half ounces. So just a tiny bit smaller, um, but yeah. So here's what we got. First up, we have a light blue one. This is Forever Flannel. This is Get Comfy with Soft Lavender, Warm Sandalwood, and an Inviting Touch of Bergamot. So let's give this one a sniff. I'm expecting fresh and cozy, something bedroomy maybe. Oh, that's, ooh. I smell coconut. Like coconut milk. And sandalwood. It's almost like the vanilla from Simply Vanilla with that bit of coconut milk. Um, but it's kind of a like, yeah, it's a soft, cuddly scent. 
with a definite coconut milk tone. I do smell sandalwood. I don't know that I'm getting bergamot. I definitely smell lavender and vanilla. And the vanilla is like the simply vanilla type vanilla with that coconut milk base. So it's very, very pretty. I'd say it's about a medium strength, like medium to medium. And they did tell us just by the way as well that you, you may have cracking right here in some of your bricks. Only, I think one of mine may be cracked. I'm not sure, I haven't really looked too close at them. But when my husband was sniffing them, I was kind of trying to peek and I didn't see any major cracks, so we'll see. But if you do see a crack here, it's, it's normal. Um, it doesn't affect the wax or anything like that. But they said that just the way they have to ship these, it can lead to cracking right here. So just be aware of that. This is very pretty. It is soft, it is very bedroomy. This is very cozy though. And I could see this being a nice year round bedroom scent. It kind of just reminds me of like a very cozy, like I guess dressed up lavender vanilla. If I had to describe the scent, I would say it's dressed up lavender vanilla with just a bit of a more cozy dressed up tone. It's very, very nice. So I'm excited to warm that. This will be a bedroom scent for me. And let's just look at the configuration here. I kind of like what we've got here. We've got a couple bigger cubes at the top and then we have some smaller cubes than we typically have. So these are nice for like your mini warmers and that sort of thing, these little side ones. And yeah, I just, there will be less chopping involved I think with these. With the previous bricks, you did have to chop each chunk in like half or quarters. Um, these, I think some of them will be able to be used one per warmer and that will be very nice. So there's that. Off to a good start with Forever Flannel. I was worried Forever Flannel might be a bit masculine because of the bergamot note and because flannel scents can sometimes be a bit masculine. I don't get masculine from this at all, like in no way. No, this is very much just a cozy lavender vanilla, cuddly cozy cashmere bedroom scent. Very, very nice. Next we have Holly Jolly Cider. This was one my husband really liked. Um, so let's see, this is warm apple cider infused with cinnamon stick and a whiff of evergreen. So this is a red one, very festive. So I'm thinking apple, cinnamon, and evergreen. I'm wondering if this is going to be similar to like Wassail Wonderland, um, but let's see. It is similar to Wassail Wonderland. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> there's a cracked one. So this one does have a, uh, a piece that's kind of, oh, this is nice. There is orange here. Okay, there's no orange in the nose, but I smell citrus. Like for sure citrus. Um, evergreen I'm getting, it's a sweet evergreen. Cinnamon stick, there is cinnamon here. And apple cider, it is a cidery, spicy holiday scent. This is nice, this is nicely balanced. There's not too much tree, it's not too spicy. It's very fruity and festive and I think this will be widely appealing. Um, yeah, so this is the type of scent my husband does like, so I can see why he liked it. Um, yeah, this is nice. If you like spicy cider scents, this is very nice. This is not much very at all like sips of cider. Um, so if you liked or disliked that one, this isn't really like that. Um, this is a little bit like Wassail Wonderland. I don't think it has as much orange. So some people found the orange in that kind of sharp and off-putting. I don't get as much orange in this one, but I do get orange. It's not in the notes, but I smell citrus. Um, evergreen, I would say there's a little bit less tree and it's a little bit less sharp in this one. Um, and the apple, I'm not getting super, super apple. I'm getting cider rather than fresh apple, um, but it's a nice cider scent. This is very, very nicely done. This is well blended. I'm excited for this. This is at least a medium on cold to my nose. This will be an open layout scent for my home. Um, yeah, I'm excited to warm that. That will be warming here pretty soon. Off to a great start. Okay, next we have orange spice and everything nice. This one is freshly brewed winter orange tea with hints of malt spices and vanilla bean. Winter orange tea, malt spices, vanilla bean. This one is orange, there we go. And this one, I'm wondering if we're gonna have, like spiced orange scents can go so many different ways. We had sweet orange pomander in a brick a couple years ago and that one is a very heavily spiced clove orange scent. We have things like mandarin moon that are more like a like warm, like aromatic spice orange scent. We have things like, there was another orange one. I think blood orange spice might be coming back in January. I can't remember. We've had other ones though too, like spiced orange harvest or something like that. There's so many orange spice scents. I'm curious to see what this one is doing. Ooh, 
Oh, okay. This one smells quite a bit like you mixed Mandarin Moon with Oodles of Orange. I know that because I've done that. Oodles of Orange is a very saturated, saturated orange scent, very strong. Um, and Mandarin Moon is a kind of aromatic spiced orange. This is a very saturated orange scent. This is heavy on the orange. Um, so if you're not a spice lover, don't be too afraid of orange spice and everything nice. The spice here is minimal. This is a very like pungent saturated orange. Not really sharp, just saturated. With just a hint of spice. And yeah, I, that's pretty. Am I getting vanilla? No. I smell no vanilla bean. I do smell winter orange tea and the mulled spices. But this is more bright than a tea scent to me. For me, tea would be like dried oranges. I don't smell dried oranges. I smell fresh, fresh orange juice oranges. Um, this is nice. I am liking this a great deal. That's good. Yeah, my husband really liked this one as well. So I can, yeah, I can see why. He told me this smelled like Setsuma from the body shop. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I see where he was coming from with that. Um, I don't think it smells like Setsuma, but I can see where he was getting that because of the juicy, bright, saturated scent of the orange. And Setsuma is a very bright, saturated orange as well. I could see it. I think if you like Bath & Body Works Setsuma, you would probably enjoy orange spice and everything nice. Um, this is nice. I think if you liked Mandarin Moon and if you liked Oodles of Orange, this is going to be one to try. This impressed me. This is what I exactly what I'd hoped it would be. I was hoping it wouldn't be too spicy and it is not. It's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous orange with just enough holidayness. Holidayness? Is it, it's a word now. Um, I think this would be good for mixing too. I think you could do a lot with this mix-wise, mixing it with pine, um, mixing it with cranberry scents, that sort of thing. So that one has some good potential to me. I really like that. And the strongest of the three I've smelled so far. So that's a good one. Next up we have Cozy Kitchen. This is the bakery one of the bunch. This one is warm up to a blissful batch of warm oats with brown sugar and spicy cinnamon swirl. Oats, brown sugar, and cinnamon swirl. This should be delicious and warm and cozy and decadent. My husband told me this smelled like porridge and he's probably right based on the notes. I think it probably will smell like porridge. Um, not, as, not as much as I thought. Okay. This one, I don't really get porridge. And the oats here, I would say, are not fresh oats. They're not like cookie oats. They are, I guess, porridge oats. Like they're, they're cooked oats. But it's not porridgey. It's more, it, it reminds me a lot, actually, of Make Me Snickerdoodle. The brown sugar note is the same as the brown sugar note in Make Me Snickerdoodle. Um, and the spicy cinnamon swirl is reading to my nose very similar to the cinnamon note in Pumpkin Cashmere. So I think... Whatever cinnamon note they've used in Pumpkin Cashmere is also in this. It's a different kind of cinnamon. This is not your classic bakery cinnamon. This is that other cinnamon. It's got a bit of a tang to it. I'm not sure I love that actually. Hmm. I like Pumpkin Cashmere and I like this, but it's the something about the spice note that's just rubbing me wrong. I really wanted this to be the, um, the regular baking cinnamon and it's not. The brown sugar is very nice, very rich. The oats are there, they're very cooked. It is a very cozy kitchen scent, um, but I'm not sure. This will be fun to mix with, I think. Um, but I'm not sure about this one, not sure. And I love bakery, so this is kind of a, a womp womp for me so far. It seems to be about a medium strength. I think this will perform well because pumpkin cashmere, which had a similar background, performed very well. Um, not for super long, but very well for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious. This is way different than I thought it was going to be. I thought this would be my favorite of the bunch. So far, this is my least favorite. It's not bad. It's just not what I expected. So we'll see what this does on warm as well. And that is one thing to note. Very often, things change completely on warm. So we'll see what this one does. And last up, we have candy apple. This one is tart green apple with a sweet candy accent, previously called winter candy apple. Now, Bath & Body Works has a scent called Winter Candy Apple that is wildly popular, and I suspect they had to change 
since he had to change theirs because Bath and Body Works is probably trademarked. So we have Candy Apple. So I have heard that this one smells like Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. My husband found this to be his least favorite of the bunch. And I, he said it smelled like hand soap, which he's probably not wrong. We probably have had that scent in a hand soap at some point, so he's probably not wrong. Um, but I typically like Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple, so I'm, I'm expecting I'll enjoy this. So yeah, tart green apple and sweet candy. Yeah, it's, it's a straight up dupe. It is tart green apple. It does have a bit of a body care note to it. I can see how we got that. But this is exactly Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. Um, if you like that scent and want it in wax, here it is. Winter, or Candy Apple. Candy Apple is the Scentsy version. They are the same. Like to my nose, I smell really no difference. It is tart green apple. Yeah, it's it's Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. Um, so yeah, it's a good one. Seems to be a nice medium medium plus in strength. I think this will be a good performer. No complaints there. This is kind of a middle of the pack for me. I like it. I like it a lot. I could see warming this also anywhere in your house. I feel like this could be a very good bedroom scent. I also think it could do very well in an open layout. So it's one of those scents that can kind of go in any space. Whereas I feel like something like orange spice and everything nice while beautiful and strong doesn't lend itself to bedrooms because it is so like energizing and bright so I yeah I don't know let's see here how am I gonna rank these okay I've got it figured out here in fifth place I have cozy kitchen this one is not what I hoped it would be I'm not so sure about this one actually so cozy kitchen is in fifth place for me candy apple this one is very very nice I'm gonna enjoy this very much this one is a lot better to my nose than uh, cozy kitchen so it's not a close fourth it's a pretty far fourth from fifth um in a, in a good direction but candy apple is fourth just because it is a scent i'm very familiar with and the novelty is worn off because i'm very familiar with this scent being that it is from like a bath and body works dupe um it's very very good though and i think yeah i'm gonna enjoy melting this and i'll have no trouble getting through that next we have forever flannel this is beautiful the only reason I'm putting this in third is because this is very much a bedroom scent to me, whereas the other two I think I could warm more versatilely. Um, that's gorgeous. I think it could be a less floral, less mature cousin of Fluffy Fleece. Fluffy Fleece had that heliotrope note that some people smelled to be kind of like a grandma flower scent. I love heliotrope. Um, I don't get grandma from it. I just, I love heliotrope, but then I'm kind of a granny at heart myself. So this one doesn't have that, but it does have the same cuddly tone, um, but being more of a lavender vanilla base. And I feel like the coconut milk in the vanilla that I'm smelling is a little bit more of like a sophisticated version of something like fluffy fleece. This is very elegant, very, very cozy and elegant and just kind of relaxed and just nice. I really enjoy this. So Forever Flannel's a win for me. That is in third place. And that one may go up. We'll see. Next we have Orange Spice and Everything Nice. This I think is the strongest of the five to my nose on cold. Um, very pleasant. Yes, this is a very good orange. Oh my gosh, that is very good. Like very good. This is a standout. So Orange Spice and Everything Nice. This was my husband's first pick, I think it was. So it's my second pick. It's very good, very strong. I think this would be your best bet if you have a large open layout you're trying to fill. Um, yeah. And yeah, not overly spicy, but I do think if you wanted to spice this up, you could add some clove and cinnamon or whatever other spicy bars you have laying around and make it more spicy. But I like what they've done here. This is just a like, nice orange set with a hint of spice. It's very, very nice. So there's that one. Second place. And first place is Holly Jolly Cider. I think this will be the most widely appealing as well, but I think this is my favorite on cold. This is just a nice all-purpose festive wintery scent. I think it kind of leans holiday specific, but it also could be warmed anytime in the winter. I would say November to like end of January would be great for Holly Jolly Cider. Um, yeah, I really like this. That's very nice. So it also reminds me a wee bit, a wee bit, not totally, of malt cider and spice. Now, malt cider and spice I have a negative scent memory association with and it also had a lot of sharpness to it that bar 
Um, this one does not have the sharpness that Mold Cider and Spice had, but I think if you liked Mold Cider and Spice, you may like this one as well. This one is a bit less spicy to my nose, but again, you can always add spice. You can't take it away. Um, yeah, I like this. It, also, it reminds me the most, though, of Wassail Wonderland. That is, I think, the closest sibling to this one, um, but very, very nice and different enough that I think it's worth trying. So that's my favorite of the bunch, and that may, this will probably change <laughs> on warm. I could see either Forever Flannel or Sweet or Orange Spice and Everything Nice. I could see either one of those taking first. I'm not sure which. And who knows, maybe one of the other two will come way up in the rankings because that happens too. I know when I did my cold sniffs of the 10 new release bars for the catalog, I had put Frosty Air in 10th place on cold sniff, just didn't really care for it much on cold. And on warm, it came right up to the middle of the pack, like came right up to the middle. <laughs> so I really like Frosty Air now. So. It does go to show you things can very much change on warm, so it is important to warm things and decide how they do. So I will warm these over the course of this weekend. You will see the warm reviews of them coming up sometime, hopefully next week. Um, but yeah, I will be cooking up a storm for Thanksgiving this weekend. We are doing it at our house tomorrow night. So I am baking and prepping and doing all that stuff today. And yeah, tomorrow we're doing our dinner. And so happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends. And for everyone, I would love to hear what bricks you're hoping to purchase or which ones you're most excited for. Um, and yeah, if you have smelled these already, I would love to hear your thoughts below. Um, if, you're another, if you're another consultant or if you've experienced some of these bars in the past, because some of these are repeat bars. Holly Jolly Cider is brand new this year. We've never had this. Orange Spice and Everything Nice, I believe, is also new this year. We've never had it. Candy Apple, I believe we have had before in the past. Not while I've been with Scentsy, but I believe this is a returning scent. But again, it used to be called Winter Candy Apple and they've renamed it. And then Cozy Kitchen was a previously available scent. I believe this was in the Huga collection potentially um, a few years ago. So there is Cozy Kitchen and I've not smelled this before again. This was before my time in Scentsy, so this is new to me, but it is a returning scent technically. So there is that. That is my cold sniffs. I'm glad I have this filmed now so I can go start popping these in warmers and try testing them. So I will get to that right now. Other than that, hope you guys are having a great week and that you have a good weekend. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.